Let's have a look at the addition reactions of alkenes. In this video, we will be dealing with the free radical mechanism of the addition reaction. Now, during addition reaction, the reagent or the added uh, compound is added on to the uh, double bond, across the double bond of the alkene. And the pi bond on the alkene is broken and two new bonds are formed. Usually, the bond, uh, heat involved during bond formation is greater than heat required during bond breaking. And therefore, yeah, the addition reactions are usually exothermic in nature. Now, depending upon the uh, uh, nature of the uh, species which is being added on to the double bond first during the addition reaction, we have got three types of addition reactions. They are electrophilic addition, nucleophilic addition and free radical addition. So in electrophilic addition, it will be an electrophilic species which will be attacking the pi bond first. In nucleophilic addition, it will be a nucleophilic species which will be attacking the pi bond. And during a free radical addition, a free radical will be attacking the uh, alkene or the double bond on the alkene. So here we shall see free radical addition reaction. Now this is particularly observed when uh, uh, HBr is added to alkenes in the presence of a peroxide. And it gives an anti marconikov product. Now in the earlier video when we were discussing about electrophilic addition, we have seen that HBr added uh, gets added to the alkene uh, and gives us a Markovnikov product. But in the pe presence of peroxide, it gives anti Markovnikov product. This is also known as peroxide effect or Karash effect. Karash effect uh, from the name of a scientist. Now see here, uh, when, it's, uh, when in the presence of peroxide, the bromine is getting added on to the uh, least substituted carbon. We have seen, uh, this is the anti marconikov product. We have seen earlier during the electrophilic addition, the bromine gets added up to the most substituted carbon. Okay, so this is the, mark, uh, the during electrophilic addition, we get the Markovnikov product, but uh, during peroxide or addition of HBr in the presence of peroxide, we get anti Markovnikov product. Now, the reason behind this is the uh, stability of the free radical formed during the reaction. Now, uh, how is this, uh, what is the mechanism for uh, this free radical addition? Uh, we have got initiation step, propagation step and termination step. During the initiation step, an alkoxyl radical is for produced by the homolytic cleavage of the peroxide. Now, instead of peroxide as an initiator, you can even use AIBN, esorbis isobutyronitrile. Such compounds which can easily cleave by homolytic cleavage can be used as the initiator. So commonly used peroxides are hydrogen peroxide, benzoyl peroxide, etc. So when benzoyl peroxide is uh, heated, you get uh, benzoyl radical. So here you are using uh, alkoxy uh, peroxide, you get alkoxyl radical. So that's the first step in the initiation, that is the uh, uh, what we say the homolytic cleavage of the uh, peroxide across the peroxide uh, group. In the next step of the initiation, the peroxide, I mean the radical which has been formed, the alkoxyl radical, will abstract a proton from the uh, HBr and Br free radical is generated and you get alcohol, alcohol and uh, bromine free radical is generated. Now during the propagation step what happens is this bromine free radical will abstract an electron from the double bond alkene number one. So this pi bond, the pi bond on the alkene cleaves homolytically again. Okay, 
and uh, the electron is be abstracted by bromine free radical and little a bond will be formed between bromine and uh, carbon over here here you can see bromine cbr bond is formed and a uh, free radical is generated on the carbon alkene all right now uh, when this is formed see if the bromine attacks here uh, i mean bromine, when the bromine is attacking on the less substituted carbon you get a more stable free radical stable tertiary free radical but if the bromine had uh, been attached onto this carbon then the free radical species will be formed here which will be least stable okay so in the electrophilic addition it's the other way around now once the bromine has been attached onto the uh, alkene uh, then what happens is the free radical carbon free radical will abstract another proton uh, a, a proton from another hbr and uh, uh, it will become a stable haloalkane and again a br free radical is generated now this br free radical it can again react with another alkene molecule and this reaction can continue okay now if ever uh, this BR free radical combines with another BR free radical, then you get bromine molecule. Then the reaction gets terminated because the free radical will no longer be available for further reaction. Another way of termination is by the combination of the uh, bromine free radical onto the alkyl free radical, which is being formed during the propagation step. So that uh, in that way also the reaction gets terminated. You get a dihalo compound. Or the two alkyl free radicals can combine together and form a higher order compound, alkane. Then also the reaction gets terminated. So whenever the uh, 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 all the steps in which the free radical is quenched, any of the free radical is arrested or any of the free radical is quenched, then we call it as the termination step. So these are the uh, various steps involved during the free radical mechanism. So it is uh, this formation of tertiary, uh, stable tertiary free radical which is very really important. So every chance wherein a stable free radical can be formed will be utilized during the reaction. Now this reaction is regioselective as in this case of electrophilic reaction here also addition here also it will be regioselective because the bromine occupier goes in it, bromine free radical goes and attacks the carbon which is less uh, substituted. Because this will result in less steric strain and also stable free radical. Uh, this uh, is the anti Markovnikov. Uh, this results in the formation of anti Markovnikov product. Now, when you see the stability of the various free radical, you find that methyl free radical is the least stable and tertiary free radical is the most stable. So, uh, as in the case of electrophilic addition where a carbocation is formed and they try to form a stable carbocation the same way during the reaction the reaction will try to form a stable free radical so tertiary free radical is more stable that's why we find anti product now this such a free radical mechanism is not observed with any other hydrogen halides like HFHI or HCl. Now the reason is because of the uh, high bond energy in the case of HCl and HF because of which homolytic cleavage is not possible. And uh, the uh, chain propagation step involves hydrogen halide involving hydrogen halides are endothermic involving these hydrogen halides that is HCl and HF will be endothermic because greater energy has to be utilized for bond breaking and therefore the reaction will be slowed down and in the case of HI uh, even though the bond energy of HI is lower than HPR the alkyl radical that forms by the addition of iodine 
is unstable and it quickly loses the iron radical to generate regenerate the alkene so in uh, during the uh, if you try to add hi in the per, uh, presence of peroxide the reaction will not happen because the reaction even if i gets added up it will be removed and uh, the alkene will be regenerated so because of these reasons you don't observe the free radical mechanism of addition of hydrogen halide uh, with hf hi and hca now coming to the stereochemistry of this free radical mechanism we find that free radical mechanism favors anti addition it favors anti addition that means it has got more affinity towards anti addition though during at certain cases there will be uh, uh what we say syn addition is also observed now this uh, is more stereospecific at lower temperatures because of the formation of the bridged intermediate. Now, at lower temperatures, uh, since a bridged intermediate is formed, the reaction will be anti. But at high temperature, the reaction is not stereospecific because at higher temperature, a uh, bridged intermediate is not formed and the C-C bond can be uh, will be rotated. And so the stereospecificity will be lost, and you will get both anti and syn product. All right. So at lower temperature, the reaction is specifically uh, stereospecific. I mean, uh, the reaction follows anti addition, but at higher temperatures, the stereospecificity is lost because of the free rotation of carbon-carbon bond involving the free radical. So that's regarding the stereochemistry. So you can say uh, it favors anti-addition. Uh, you will see uh, anti as well as syn addition, but majority will be nature of the majority of the products will be from the anti-addition. Now another example for wherein we find free radical addition on alkene is addition of halomethanes, similar to our HBr. The halomethanes like CCl4, CBr4, CHBr3, etc. can uh, get added up onto the alkene via free radical mechanism. Now, when you find, uh, look at the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, reactivity of these halomethanes, what you find is the uh, carbon tetrabromide is the most reactive towards alkene via free radical mechanism and the least one is chloroform. Now uh, uh, here what is the mechanism? You have the initiator. It will abstract a bromine from the, the initial free radical will abstract a bromine from the uh, carbon tetrabromide and a carbon tribromide free radical is formed. Now this carbon tribromide free radical will uh, combine with the uh, uh, alkene to form an, another uh, alkyl free radical. Now then this alkyl free radical will abstract another bromine, a bromine from another CBr4 carbon tetrabromide and uh, the carbon tribromide free radical is regenerated. And then the reaction continues. And as we said earlier, it can get terminated when 2CBR3 gets coupled or it can be terminated when this alkyl free radical gets coupled. Alright, so if ever, wherever the free radical is quenched, the reaction gets terminated. So the first step shown here is the initiation step. The last, uh, second, first, second and the third step shown here are the propagation steps. So here you are using uh, uh, poly, uh, polyhalogenated compounds to add up to the uh, uh, alkene. In certain cases, this last step of abstraction proton by the free radical uh, will face a competition with polymerization reaction. That is, instead of uh, abstracting a halogen, uh, 
uh, from the halomethane by the free radical. This free radical will combine with another uh, alkene molecule and uh, uh, a dimer will be formed which will later on uh, form trimer, polymer and, uh, and a polymer will be formed. So polymerization reaction will be competing with the halogen abstraction. This is the way it will happen. So you have the uh, free radical, halo free radical. Now instead of abstracting a bromine or a halogen from the halomethane, this will combine with or react with the alkene and form a dimer of the alkene and this will continue. So you will get a polymer. Now this is particularly seen in compounds for subs with substituted terminal alkenes uh, having phenyl or ester substituents. And in these cases, the reaction is quite rapid also. Now, let, let us look at the stereochemistry of uh, this free radical addition. This is governed by steric bulk of the substituents present on the alkene. So, the stereochemistry is governed by the uh, uh, size of the substituents on the alkene. Okay, and this is more pronounced in, that is the stereochemistry, or the, the stereospecificity is more pronounced in sterically congested uh, systems like fused decalings or norbornene, where the addition is anti, you find only anti-addition over there because uh, one side will be blocked by the trihalomethyl group. So for sterically hindered compounds, you find only anti-addition. See here you have this, uh, uh, this is not bornean, this will add up to the uh, trichlorobromomethane in this way, in anti manner. But if uh, it is not sterically hindered, you can expect sim addition also. But then it prefers uh, anti addition most of the cases, but still. Uh, for sterically uh, hindered compound, you find only anti-addition. Now, another reaction where which involves free radical is involving acyl radicals, addition of acyl radicals to uh, alkene. Now, acyl radicals are formed by the free radical uh, reaction or uh, uh, homolytic cleavage of uh, aldehydes usually. Alright, or uh, here the, you have an initiator, the initiator will form initiator free radical and in the initiation, second step of the initiation, what happens? The initiator of free radical will take up a proton from the aldehyde and you get the acyl free radical. Now this acyl free radical will combine or react with an alkene. You get another free radical, alright. This free radical can combine with an aldehyde. Okay, and form a keto compound and the acyl free radical will be generated, regenerated in fact and this reaction can continue. Alright, so you get ketones, higher order ketones. So you, you can see a higher order carbonyl compounds can be produced. Now uh, an example over here has been given, you can see here. You have the, this, this is this, this uh, acetaldehyde is the source of a acyl free radical, and to this alkene, the reaction I mean, this uh, acetaldehyde is getting added up. See here, the CH3CO group is being added, and the hydrogen, uh, this hydrogen is abstracted and it goes to this carbon here. This hydrogen is from the aldehyde, so the whole of the aldehyde is getting added up onto this compound, alkene compound. So that is a reaction involving acyl radicals. Another is acyl a free radical uh, addition involving thiols. Now in the case of thiols, what you find is the proton will be positively charged and the uh, sulfur moiety will be uh, negatively charged and uh, yeah, you can see here the proton is going to the less hydrogenated carbon. So this again follows Markovnikov rule. Again, the negative part goes to the uh, more hydrogenated carbon. So uh, you get the, uh, the anti-Markovnikov product, same as the addition of HBr in the presence of peroxide. So here, uh, the, the sulfur part, uh, the 
uh, thioalkyl part that is CH3CH2S will be the negative part and H will be the positive. The mechanism is the same as that of the peroxide initiated HBr and the stereochemistry will be anti-addition. Alright, and it is again radio-specific, radio-selective reaction because the positive part or the proton goes to the more substituted carbon and the negative part of the addendum goes to the less substituted carbon. Now, it's slightly less stereoselective than HPL. HPL is completely stereoselective here. The, 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 most of the cases, it is anti-addition, but sometimes you can also find a bit of syn addition products obtained during the addition of thions. Now, so you can summarize free radical addition as, uh, uh, say, what we have discussed till now. HBr in the presence of peroxide. Of, uh, goes via free radical mechanism to give anti marconico product and uh, uh, there will be three steps for free radical addition initiation propagation and termination the addition of hbr by in the presence of peroxide is stereospecific and also you can say it is regiospecific particularly stereospecific particularly at low temperatures it forms an anti product only anti product, but at uh, higher temperature because of the carbon carbon bond rotation, you can even find the syn product. Now, other important addition reactions we have seen are addition of uh, polyhalomethanes, acyl radicals, and thiols. Hope this uh, part is uh, clear to you. I mean, free radical addition to alkenes is clear to you. Thank you.